DJ Next, we're going to move on to our dynamics section. So we're going to select multiband dynamics. We're going to click it so it's active. And the preset we chose was a four band compressor split into these discrete frequencies. As you can see, you can drag the frequencies around, you can solo a frequency, or you can bypass a frequency. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the track, and while it's playing, we're going to keep an eye on the gain reduction that's happening in each of the frequency ranges and we're going to adjust the compressor's threshold so that we're just getting a couple of decibels of gain reduction in each frequency. We're not going to go too hard on the compressor because in the next stage we're going to be limiting the track as well. So we're going to select the top band and play the track. As you can see, we're getting a couple of decibels of gain reduction in the top frequency. Now we're just going to do the same thing for the remaining three. Now if you want, you can actually control the gain of each band and the mix of each band here to do some rough EQing. But I like the way things are sounding from the paragraphic equalizer, so I'm not even going to touch those. And I'm going to leave that as is. Next, we're going to move on to our loudness maximizer, which is another name for a limiter. And what this will do is this will shear off like a brick wall any peaks that are exceeding the threshold that we set for the limiter. This will allow our track to be as loud as possible. One thing that happens in ozone when you do start limiting by reducing the threshold is the volume level will start to increase. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust the output so that we don't start clipping the output of the plugin. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep our eye on the gain reduction meter here and we're going to bring the threshold down until we're getting about six or seven decibels of gain reduction. <laughs> Good, so we're getting a good consistent five or six decibels of gain reduction. And now we have a couple of other choices. The mode has four modes, Intelligent, Intelligent 2, Soft, and Brick Wall. I've worked with these quite a bit, and the one that I prefer for the style of music that I write is Intelligent 2. Then we have a slider here called character, which is basically the speed of the limiter. It controls the attack, or the speed, in which it activates once the threshold has been exceeded. And so we have a couple of options here. This is slower, and this is faster. And I usually like somewhere between smooth and fast and loud. But we're going to do it by ear and listen to the track. <laughs> What I find usually happens when you move it to very fast or clipping is you start to hear some artifacts in the audio stream, which is not desirable. Basically, what we're looking for is I like it at the fast and loud setting on this track, and we're just going to leave it there. DJ, that's best, that's best, that's best, that's best. 